Uh, the hell just happened? Leviathan Sonic Blast? I don't know what just happened then, but whatever. What's going on guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed the Shastasaurus, which is that guy all the way in the back. I managed to uh, basically tame it. It was pretty easy, actually. It wasn't too hard to tame. But yeah, we got that. We're going to put the kibble... No, wait, we should probably take some more kibble, because we're probably going to need it for, the, uh, for what we're going to tame next. So what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to see if we could tame that Nothosaurus, that 140 Nothosaurus, and the 130 Quetzal. Because we're going to need to tame that Quetzal so then we can, you know, get that, um, so we can, um, I mean, we do have a good saddle. I just want, like, to tame a Quetzal because I never get to tame a Quetzal, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to bring, we'll bring, like, five of these electric things or power generators. And then I'll bring some gasoline. We should be good to go. Alright, so we're gonna bring Pyromane over. And then we're gonna... Let's see, where's the D-Arc? D-Arc, where are you? Yeah, I think we were attacked by a raptor, so... Forgive the mess. Seriously, where is it? I need you for the Quetzal tame. Where are you? There you are. I was worried sick, but no, I found you. All right, let's check on the uh, the garden while we're here. Let's fly up and then just head over. All right, so yeah, in today's episode, we're gonna tame that Quetzal as well as tame up the, tame up that Nothosaurus. All right, so I'm gonna put the, the crops in here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go to the river where that Womp 40, um, not the Saurus was. I also got the Summer Bash DLC in. I know I'm a tad bit late, but we got it. So, so I will probably be putting on some summer clothes at some point. Getting ready for the summer and whatever. Even though it's like late. Oh, hello. 130 Not the Saurus. There's a 140 in the river somewhere, and then we're gonna tame that Quetzal. So for now, let's just head over to the river. Where's the river? I think it's over here, yeah. Just straight ahead. Keep going straight, and we'll hit the river. What are you? A Kulasukas level 50. Okay, that's a weird looking creature. It's an Arctic expert, lying in wait for a chance to strike. Watch out for those big jaws. I think I heard to tame it, you just have to let it attack you. I think that's how you tame it. I'm not 100% sure. That's a level 50, so we're not in a rush to tame that. I think we're already seeing summer creatures. That is a beautiful Carbonemis. Alright, the Quetzal's probably wandering the skies somewhere. Is that it? This is it. The 140 Nothosaurus. Alright, we need to get your attention somehow. I don't know where that 130 Quetzal went off to, but... We'll, we won't question it. There's a raptor down here, so let me just clear that raptor. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, as long as we're close enough... ...where we can turn on the power generators and it'll be attracted to it, we should be good. Alright, we got the Nothosaurus getting ready to tame. I'm just gonna kill this Dillo real quick. There we go. The 140 Nothosaurus is taming up. It's got really cool colors, too. So if it has anything above 41 melee or 41 health, then it's automatically better. Because the perfect ones have 41 points into health, 41 points into melee. So if you could have over 41, then that would be great. And there we have it. Nothosaurus has been tamed. Let's put you away. I think you've been damaged. Let's turn you off. I'm gonna pick you up. There we go. Take the gas out of you. So if we come across a max level, then 
will be golden. Alright, let's see what your stats are. 140. 42 points into health and 47 points into melee. Yep, that's way better. Alright, let's go find this Quetzal. Alright, it's up in the sky somewhere. They never land. That's the thing about Quetzals. Alright, Quetzal. Quetzalcoatlus. I mean, I'm not in a rush to tame a Quetzal, but if we can find it, then that would be great, because Quetzals are pretty good. I know they're very slow, but they're pretty good. If I don't see it, then I'm gonna think about going to the swamp to tame a Dinosuchus. Because I'd like to tame one of those. Or do we need ghillie armor for that? I think we need ghillie armor for that. I'm not sure. If we do, I'll, I can easily make some. It's no big deal. I've got... Actually, I don't think regular polymer would work. I think it has to be organic. Hmm, that's the only problem with that. I should have ghillie armor on me. Somewhere. I know some broke when I was trying to tame the Monolophosaurus. Alright, it doesn't look like I am seeing the Quetzal. So I guess we'll head back to base and head into the swamp, see if we can find ourselves a Dinosuchus. Well, at least we got the... not the Saurus anyway. We know it has better stats than the two that we have. So that was good anyway. Let me see what's in this drop. The Quetzal may have even despawned to make room for some of the... Ooh, is that a, a Mastercraft Capro Saddle? And we got four electronics, probably from destroying that... That, um... Power generator. Alright, let me go get some ghillie and, uh, tame a Dinosuchus. Because I've been wanting to tame that for a little bit, too. Alright, just outside this jungle. And we're back at base. Awesome. There's Precious and the Shastasaurus, which I haven't named yet. All right. So now that we got that, let's uh, let me take a look and see what we got for Gilly. Do we have any Gilly armor? Gilly. We do have a an ascendant mask. Blueprint of, a, of an ascendant mask. Yeah, we do. All right. We're we're good. We're good. Oh, you were a female. Oh, okay. Um, we just need a male with the perfect stats. There we go. You two can go away. And then you two can come out. Alright. I didn't realize the 140 was a female. I thought it was a male. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Let's head over to the swamp. Should we go on the mono? Hmm. I mean, the D-Arc would cover more ground. Yeah, let's go on the D-Arc. It, it'll be able to cover more ground. We'll be able to cover more ground this way. Yeah, I never get to go on some of my creatures. Maybe if the mono was imprinted, I would have been more inclined to do that, but... Not this time. Now, once we get to the Dinosuchus, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to put on our ghillie armor. Let's put it on right now, actually. Just so we're ready. There we go. And then we'll also have to make sure there's nothing else around. The swamp is a very dangerous place. Filled with capros and sarcos and... Oof, berries. Everything else. There's a capro right there. Level 90. Now, Dinosuchus shouldn't be too hard to spot. I hear one right now. What level is it? 90... We can definitely do better than that. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I went ahead and killed that guy. Dragonflies piss off. There's a Barry. That's a 50. Beautiful colors. Should I tame a Barry at some point? Oh, there's one right here. A hundred. We could do better than that. We found a 90 and a 100 so far. 45. If only you said 145, that would have been perfect. We could do way better than that. Alright, let me take the Sarko... Or would it be Sarko skins? Yeah, Sarko skins. Let me just take those out. That's an 85. 
We can do better than that. All right, these trees in the way. All right, we killed the, the 85. Let's see if we can continue our search for a Dinosuchus. That's a 145, okay, that's perfect. It's it's basically attacking everything in the area. That is a beautiful Dinosuchus. All right, that's a Parasair dead. It's literally attacking everything. That was a max level Tekoranosaurus. Tech creatures usually spawn at a higher level, so 180 in this case. Alright. We've killed almost everything in the area, so we should be good. We've got two levels from that. So let's level up a bit. This Donosuka seems to know what he's doing, so I'm just gonna let him do his thing. I'm not even gonna get involved anymore. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. He seems to be handling himself just fine. He's, he's healing as he's eating the carcasses, so this is good. Uh, how's this frog? That's a max level frog. This this guy's torpor is kind of going up a bit. Come on, kill the frog. Alright, I think he's calmed down. Now's my time. Alright, wait for him. I think we're ready. Okay, now! Lunge forward. This is how you do it. Alright. He'll tame with one more. Alright, I think he's getting aggressive again. No, he's not. Okay. We need to wait for him. Wait for him to open his mouth again. One more kibble will do it. Run and... Boom! Dinosuchus has been tamed. That's a 130 Baryonyx. Kind of a pretty color. Hmm. 3,500 Torpor. He should tame with just the one kibble. I figured I'd tame him because why not? Beautiful colors for one, and for two he's a 130. Don't go over there. I don't know what's over there. There's another Dinosuchus, a level 20. Alright. While this guy tames up, I'm going to head back to base. We're going to make the saddle for the Dinosuchus. Because that's the main thing we were looking for. And we're going to basically see what this guy is all about. So I'll see you guys back at base. Can't believe we tamed a 145 Dinosuchus. What gender is the one we have? It is a female. So if we need a breeding pair, if we want to get an imprinted version, we're going to have to get a male. Ah. Uh... The hell just happened? Leviathan Sonic Blast? I don't know what just happened then, but whatever. That was probably from, there was probably a giant whale nearby that I just didn't notice. I didn't know they could do that. All right, that's, that's good to know. And we are back. Let's head back to base, all right. As always, Mufasa, great job. All right, the saddle has been crafted up. Let's go downstairs. Check the stats on this guy. So we've we've got 44 points into health. That's pretty good. 40 points into stamina. 56 points into weight. If only that was for melee or health, that would have been really good. And 40 points into, into melee. So, oh, hello, Trike. Alright, so we've got a pretty high level and a pretty strong Dinosuchus. Alright, let's ride you. Alright. I'll come back for the Baryonyx at some point. So, what does left click do? 502 damage. 1500 with a with a headshot. That's really good. Alright, I'm I'm right click is obviously the gigabyte. How much damage are we going to do? 3,800. That's really good. Almost 3,900. Alright, let's uh, up the gamma because it's getting dark. You know, so we could see a little better. 
And I think C is the tail swipe, if I'm not mistaken. I would like to tame a high level male at some point. If we can find one, that is. Wait, I, I heard we could... Okay, we could shoot off the back of it. That's good to know. Hello, C. Letosaurus. Let's see what kind of damage we do with C. 639. That's a 130, 140 scar, dark carrier turbo thing. Oh, we got him with a normal hit, though. That's good. Alright, we've got 47 levels. Let's level this guy up a bit. Get you up to, say, 100,000 health. Stamina, we'll get that up to 2,000. And then we'll just put the rest into melee. Ooh, we got some type of saddle. What is this? A razor tooth saddle. Okay, that's good to know. So if we ever tame a razor tooth, that'll be great. 3,800 with the normal bite. What does the gigabyte do? 88,000. Okay, that that's way too OP. And then the C does what? 4,800. And we just one shot at everything. Now I kind of want to see how strong we are in the water. Because we could take this guy on ocean, ocean adventures if he ends up being super strong. So let me go ahead, heal you up a bit, and then we'll go into the ocean. Of course there's a raptor just wandering around my base, just chilling. Surprised it hasn't aggroed yet. I should probably put those Nothosaurus on passive. Alright, so we are fully healed and ready to go. So now we can go on our little ocean adventure. Alright, so C is to kind of descent and whatever. Alright. There's our Shastasaurus that we tamed. Still haven't thought of a name for you. You know what? Let me name you right now. Well, now we kind of got to climb out. There we go. We're swimming normally. Alright, cool. All right, I just named you Pearl, you are a male. You know what, that's fine, that's fine. All right, let's see what we're all about in the water. Oh, hello, Anomalocaris, okay. Um, okay, that looked creepy, but you know what, we're not gonna question it. There's one of those dolly things, that's a 130, 145, sorry. Love to tame one of those. That's a 25 Nothosaurus. You know what? You'll do just fine. That's a 140. One shotted. How awesome is that? Is that a Basilosaur? Level 25. That's a beautiful Basilosaur, actually. Alright. The bite is on a cooldown. There we go. Absolutely destroying creatures at this point. Alright, let's head back. Let's see if we go to surface swimming. That's cool. We've got surface swimming and free swimming. It's cool that we have that. Alright. Where's base? Alright, just a couple meters back. So let's uh, head back to base and then we can basically end the episode off. And we've got that, and with that, that is going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.